Hey guys, it's me Bish. Welcome to another Japan Crate unboxing. Remember, if you want next month's crate, which is the July crate, make sure you go to getlifepodcast.com forward slash Japan Crate. Use the code GALP for $3 off your next crate. So let's open this up. Um, you may have noticed that it's a new shipping label. It's from DHL. They've sent it via DHL. And the reason why that is, is because due to COVID-19 at the moment, um, Japan Post isn't posting anything outside of Japan. And bear in mind, they do send you this stuff from Osaka. They don't send it to you from the US. It's sent straight from Japan. That might explain why your crates are becoming delayed, etc. Uh, because of this unprecedented times that we are in. So bear in mind, this isn't Japan Crate's fault or anything. They are working on um, ways to get you your crate because they sent this one by DHL. It's going to cost them a lot more to do that. Um, so this was done, DHL Express shipping. Let's open it. You may have noticed that I'm on the floor. That's because I'm waiting on a new desk. It's not because I'm floor gang or anything, although I'd like to be PewDiePie, Senpai, please notice me. Uh, let's open this up, floor gang, ooh. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Regardless, so this the box is annoying me actually at the moment because it's just flopping about. The first thing that we have in this crate is sour jerky. As you can see, uh, the mascot kind of looks similar to the Japan crate mascot. He's got a, a bottle of vinegar. It's squid jerky, um, sort of sour flavored. So I would imagine it is covered in sort of vinegar and salt and stuff like that. I am not, mm, I'm not really into that. I'm not really into sort of jerky. So I'm not into that. Maybe people in America who, you know, have jerky on a basis um, may enjoy that, but I wouldn't. Personally, I'm not a fan of that. We've got our Kit Kat, but we'll talk about that at the end as we normally do. This kind of it's kind of got a bit damaged in the in the packaging, but what this is is a train. If we can go and focus, it is a train. Let's see what train this is. It's a JR Limited Express chocolate. So these basically have like little chocolate um, beads or little chocolate smarties uh, in the shape of a train. I believe you can get different designs. I was hoping that we get a bullet train, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, you got the little um, train driver. That's pretty cool. Next thing that is just popping out to me is this lemon guy. I don't know what this is, but it's so interesting. Lemon gum. Okay. Sour lemon gum. I can imagine that's why he's um, got that puckered face there. Should be cool. Another thing that we've got in here. Lemon Gorito. Don't know what that is. Um, there's a lot of things that I don't know, and there's a lot of unique things in here. So it's lemon coret. It's sour lemon um, that have like I'm guessing they're like oh okay. It's basically little sour lemon balls, which is pretty cool. We're getting a lot of sour things in this crate. It's maybe this is the sour crate. I don't know. Mint fresh Orion mint fresh. Um, I'm presuming these are yogurty mints. Okay. Never heard of that, but they're like yogurt sweets, like Yakult sweets. To me, the packaging seems a bit odd because it does remind me of um, Saxa salt in the UK, if you've seen that before, you know, table salt and whatnot. So it kind of got, got that design to it, um, especially with the logo and everything like that. But it's kind of cool. I like these small things. Speaking of small things, we got a hippo. By the way, hippos are the cutest animals, just so you guys know. Um, these are basically like the Smarties that you pop out like pills and it's a hippo shape. And that's pretty cool. What is this? I'm going after the smaller stuff, guys, because there's quite a lot of stuff in this crate. Um, let's see. This is grape sour long gum. OK, I've, I figured this out. This crate is basically all sour stuff because this is gum. Once again, sour. We'll see how sour it is because I've noticed that Japanese sour sweets aren't really sour. This looks interesting. Kind of looks like a sausage roll from Greg's. Um, if you live in the UK, you know what I'm talking about. Or I think Americans call them pigs in blankets, but they're not that. They're called sausage rolls. This is called chocolate pie. It's basically a pie-like crust with a chocolate filling. Basically a sausage roll with without the sausage and chocolate. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I believe we've had these before. Four. these are the color changing sweets but i just want to make sure just want to make sure yeah chameleon ramenade so it's basically um hard candy that changes flavors 
and changes colors as you eat it. It's kind of like the um, the Gobstoppers from, uh, oh, what is that film again? From Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's basically like that. Uh, we've tried them before. Yeah, it wasn't that impressive. This is also gum. We're getting quite a lot of gum in this crate, and I'm not a big fan of including gum, but, you know, more the merrier, I guess. Need to figure out what it is. It's Gabi... I can't even pronounce it. Um, Meiji's version of Chewy Candy. Oh, okay. No, okay. Fine. This isn't gum. I assumed it was gum. Only because it says Meggy Gum. I don't know. Maybe that might be pronounced Meggy Gum. I don't know. But this is basically like a taffy type sweet. Something similar to Starbursts or... Um, I don't know. Like taffy, I guess. This looks very interesting. We'll leave that until last. There's a lot of big items in this crate as you can see so we're going over the small ones quickly i presume this is another sort of fruit roll-up type situation it's called monster fruit okay but this is the mini version i don't know what flavor it is oh okay it's rainbow so i'm presuming you get the different flavors within that i don't know if you can actually peel these off separately it does look like that if you look closely if it would focus yeah i think you can peel these off separate but we'll have to see when we try it and taste it. A lot of people are asking, when are we going to do taste tests? We are working on a new podcast project called uh, Galp Umai, and we've been working on it since maybe 2014. So we are recording these episodes, and we will be trying these snacks, hopefully. So expect that soon. This looks pretty cute. I thought it was a Pokemon at the beginning when I saw it like that. But it is My Melody Chocolate. Okay. I don't know what character this is. Please tell me. I, I really don't know. But it's like a um, white chocolate thing. That's it. There's not much I can say about those smaller items. But we've got some really nice big items here. We've got roasted shrimp garlic flavor. So this is basically shrimp chips. I think from what I've tasted before in the Japanese um, crisps type situation... Um, I, I don't know what to say because the garlic flavor is a bit intense in Japan and I might not like it. You might not like it, but this, I think this would work well with, um, beer or like some sort of alcohol. If you can drink, if you're legally, um, at that age to drink, but it does work well. I really don't know if this is actually shrimps. Or if it's flavored like shrimp. Okay, this doesn't look like shrimp. It looks like a potato snack or a corn snack that is flavored like a shrimp. It might be shrimp, but we have to open it and see and taste it. Check that out on Umai when we do that. Next thing. Oh, look at this packaging. It looks so beautiful. You got the, your Yukioi um, style, Japanese style block print on here. It looks pretty nice. It's called Chipstar. I need to figure out what this is. Chipstar. Edo style soy sauce. Uh, for those who don't know, Edo was the, um, it's modern day Tokyo now, but Edo was basically the Japanese capital during that period, which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. It, they give you instructions on how to open the packaging as well. Let's we'll see how it is. It's, to me, it just looks like Pringles, but it isn't actually, because that's a bit odd. Okay, I did not expect this, but. I'm guessing um, it's there to keep in the freshness, especially you've got this foil there. I did not expect that, but they look like Pringles. They are soy sauce flavored Pringles for lack of a better term. Leave that there for the moment, off the camera. I don't know what we can talk about now. We've got a couple of things. These look amazing and you might have seen them on the Japan Crate um, Instagram page or their Twitter page, their Oreo Krispies. We do have these in the UK, and I know it's a lot of people saying, well, I can buy this at my local Japanese supermarket. You probably can, um, but I can tell you for a fact, I can't find any place in the UK that sells these Oreo Krispies, especially in this flavor, which I believe this flavor is. Let me just check it again. It's Sakura Chiffon Cake. You're not going to find this in the UK. Sakura chiffon cake, as you can see, that's a beat. I love chiffon cake and I love the sakura flavor. I'm hoping it doesn't have a sort of salty taste because I've noticed a lot of sakura items tend to have that sort of salty sakura tea flavor um, with it. But these look great. 
Uh, for those who don't know what Oreo Krispies are, they're basically thin biscuits with the Oreo filling on the inside. They sell them in the UK um, for your regular Oreos. They do, I don't think they do double stuffed, but they do like um, regular, and then they also do golden Oreos, variants of these. But I've seen Japan Crate in their videos make ice cream out of this, so that is something cool to do. That's something I would do. Maybe I'd have this with some ojicha or maybe some sakura tea. We'll have to see. Oh, that rhymes. Ooh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Okay. We normally leave the Kit Kats till last, but there's two other items, two drinks this time. So I think we need to save the drinks till last. So this is Kit Kat Ocean Salt. It's basically a salty Kit Kat. I really don't know what that means. It's um, a sweet and salty Kit Kat white chocolate with sea salt from Seto Inland Sea. I don't know where that is in Japan. Please tell me if you're in, if you're in Japan or if you know about Japan, tell me about it. Oh, okay. The packaging can change. Uh, you might get different animals. We got, I don't know what this is. This looks like a hippo. Is this a hippo? Or, or a mantle ray? I really don't know what this is. Um, regardless. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I didn't notice this. They uh, show you how to make origami turtle from the packaging. Because as you can tell, the packaging is sort of papery, um, which is quite nice, actually. I didn't know that. Good on you, Nestle. Good on you, lads. Finally, the drinks... This is actually your DIY candy for this crate. It is tapioca green milk tea. Basically, it's a boba or bubble tea. And you follow the instructions right there, as you can see there. And you can make, make bubble tea at home, which is really cool. I really want to see more of these things appear in Asian supermarkets in the UK. Um, because it's just like instant bubble tea, that's a no-brainer for me. Um, I would like to try that and we'll see and we'll taste it and see how it is. I'm hoping it comes with the straw, but I doubt it. Actually, no, it, may, it might do because that is a um, push bit there. It, the straw might be inside. We'll have to see. Now, this, I'll tell you for a fact that if you live in Europe, you probably know what this is. Sokata, um, it is a sort of uh, elderberry, elderflower. I, okay, it's elderflower soda with lemon in it so it's a romanian drink from what i remember and you can find this in a lot of um, european supermarkets turkish supermarkets they sell this all over europe so if you're from slovakia you probably know this if you're from poland you'd know this if you're from romania or eastern europe or europe in general even if you live in germany and such you may see these in your supermarkets already this is a canned variant um, from Japan. I don't know if this is manufactured in Japan or not, or if this is the European stuff that's just rebottled for the Japanese market. Um, for the Americans, you know, this might be something new for you. For us um, Brits and Europeans, we already know how this tastes like. This is actually wonderful. This is actually one of my favorite drinks from Fanta, and I do hope that we see more of it um, in the future. This is actually my favorite drink. So you guys know, if you ever want to send me a Fanta, or if you ever find me in the street or at a convention in the future, and you want to get me something, get me a Fanta Socata because I'm a big fan of it. I might be pronouncing it wrong, but I'm a big fan of this drink. And that's it. That's all it is. If you want to get next month's crate, which is the uh, July crate, go to getlifepodcast.com forward slash Japan crate. That's all one word. I'll put links in the description. Don't worry about that. And use the code GALP. In addition to that, if you want to support the stuff that we do, make sure you support Japan crate and make sure you go check out our, our little. I don't know why I did that, but there you go. Hopefully, if you like what we do, you can check out our podcast as well. We do podcasts based on gaming and anime, um, weekly episodes on the gaming, monthly on the anime podcast. You can go and check that out at getlifepodcast.com. And there you go. Bye-bye.